Season of the Splicer Sojourner's Tale Home is just over the horizon. The pipes are silent. Ether production is paused during batch loading, and in that interstitial time, Spider's lair feels like a tomb. Every creak and groan of his throne becomes excruciatingly pronounced. Spider reclines against one arm, rolling a dead ghost shell in one hand, scraping a clawed finger across its grey, lifeless eye. The arrival of a trusted associate pulls Spider from his thoughts. Avrock, Spider bellows, turning his attention to the armoured elixney striding through the doorway. What did you find? Avrock approaches Spider's throne, wringing his hands together anxiously. Our thief, my lord. Spider leans forward with a groan of the cable suspending his throne. And what did you do to them? He asks in greedy anticipation. That, however, is where Avrock falters. I did not catch them, my lord, Avrock humbly answers, his much smaller frame eclipsed in Spider's shadow. But I have a name. Out with it, Spider grouses, falling back against his throne with deflated interest. The crow. Spider's blood turns to fire. His grip tightens on that dead ghost so hard its shell cracks. Spider continues squeezing it until the glass eye completely pops. Then he takes a moment to compose himself. Our little bird, come home to the nest so soon. Tell me everything. He was able to infiltrate the storehouse, Avrock explains, and coerced a team of labourers to offload cargo promised to the Empress onto a skiff, which he then stole, along with a cache of your more uh, personal belongings, among which was the quantum opal. Avrock shrinks lower, lower, lower. The supplies were delivered to Mithrax, in your name, as a gift. And the workers? Spider growls. They are gone? Avrock doesn't mean to make it sound like a question, and regrets taking the tone immediately. To where, exactly? They— Avrock takes a small step back from Spider's throne. Left, he clenches his jaws. With the crow. Spider leans forward again. For Earth. Avrock concludes. The ether pipes begin to hum and rattle as a new batch begins production elsewhere in the complex. The noises rise in intensity, turning into the familiar hissing wail that joins with the uncomfortable sound of Spider, laughing. The Baron of the Shore throws his dead ghost at Avrock, who ducks away from it, covering his head with his hands. He's taking them to Mithrax, Spider says between fitful chuckles and wheezing coughs. He steals from me, and gives it to the House of Light. Unbelievable. Though behind the laughter and coughs, there is a hint of appreciation in his tone. The kid's grown a spine. There is, Avrock starts, offering Spider a folded piece of paper. One more thing. He left this behind. Spider's seal was scribbled on one side. For you. As Spider unfolds the note, Avrock creeps further away from the throne. Inside is nothing more than a crude drawing and a rude missive. That little sh— The pipes are howling.